this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new clinical note. From the home page, click the patient events icon. Keep in mind, you must already have a patient event created for this specific session that you want the note to be related to. If you don't already have a patient event created, you can create a new patient event by clicking the new patient event button, or if it is a returning patient, you can quickly clone a previous patient event. Please refer to our training video on cloning a patient event. You can sort by any of the headings. If you sort by the date of service, it will be easy to find the most recent patient event. For time's sake, we're going to assume a patient event has already been created. Click the patient event you want the note to be related to. Next, hover over the clinical notes link and click new clinical note. The available types of clinical notes are listed below with their descriptions to the right. Progress note is the default. Choose the type of clinical note from the drop down list you would like to create. Let's choose progress note for this example. Then click continue. Next, you can enter all of the note fields. If there are fields you wish to include or eliminate, the clinical note fields can be modified and fields added. Enter the date the note was signed. If you will use today's date, just click the date link. The true and correct checkbox is to be clicked upon final completion and review of the note. Enter your name as the clinician, who I assume is the one to sign and complete this note. If this note includes meds, goals, objectives, interventions, or diagnosis, double-click the items to move them to the chosen side. If you picked an item by mistake, you can just double-click the item to move it to the other side. Next, enter all of the mental status information. Choose appearance from the drop-down list. In other fields, just double-click the description you want to choose to move it to the chosen side. In the notes section, you can type progress notes. In the plan progress section, you can choose progress, action, and treatment schedules from the drop down list. If you recommend the patient be referred to someone else, enter that name in the refer to field, then choose a reason for referral from the drop down list. After you have reviewed the note, and check the true and correct box. Go ahead and click Save. In the clinical note detail screen, you can scroll down the page to add goals and objectives, interventions, diagnosis, medications, or substances used. To create additional goals, objectives, interventions, diagnosis, medications, or substances used lists, see our training video on clinician list settings. To add a diagnosis to this clinical note, click New Diagnosis. You can enter diagnosis codes for the different axes by just typing the code or description. If the code does not appear below, click the looking glass. The most recently viewed items will appear in the list below. If you do not see any items in the list, you can click show filters under the search results for a more specific search. You have to type at least two numbers or letters. You can either type in the first two numbers of the code or the first two letters of the description. Choose the code type, then click Apply Filters. ICD codes are provided. If you would like to use DSM codes instead, see our training video on clinician list settings. Click the diagnosis code you wish to use. When you have completed entering the information you wish to include in the diagnosis, click Save. You can go back to the clinical note by just clicking the note link. You can also create a note or attach a file that relates to this specific clinical note. If you have seen this patient before, another quick way to complete a clinical note is to clone a previous clinical note and then just make modifications to reflect any changes. Please see the training video on how to clone a clinical note. 